Thursday, May the 16th. Dura upper today cancelled. Legs are taken a hit, or the mozzies swollen up to hell. Dealt with worse. So, uh, just going to check the uh, post box. If there is any wind noise, I do apologise. Uh, nothing. I'm expecting a package today. Oh, let's go and have a look at the veggie patch. We um, planted our radishes last week, last week, yeah, and the week before that we planted our onions and broccoli. In fact, at the same time we planted the radishes, we planted the marigolds, the courgettes and the butternuts. So let's start from the top. Marigolds, yeah, they're okay. Sorrel looks okay. Here we go, let's have a look. There's the sorrel, it's, it's looking okay. Marigolds, hit and miss. Some are good, some are bad. Butternut, looking good-ish. Courgettes. Courgettes, yeah, generally good. That bed's okay. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at the onions. How cool is that? Oh, and the broccoli. Broccoli, have a look. But the onions. Perhaps I have got green fingers. I don't know. Right, let's go and have a look at the wild flower bed. Now there's a few coming up. Yeah, definitely a few coming up. Look, oh, you can see some sprouts there. Whether it's weeds or not, to be determined. Yeah, there's a few sprouts. Right, let's have a look at the rad. Oh, wow. Radish. So these were planted six days ago. Oh, oh wow. That's astounding. Really is good. Carrots are still nothing yet. Yeah, I can't see anything. No, nothing on the carrot side. Yeah. No, I don't see nothing. But the parsnips, uh, yeah. Again, hit and miss, but I've got some new buds there. So, even though the rest are dying, they say they do shed their leaves. That one, yeah. Again, new bud here. But hey, I, I'm not a gardener. I have no idea. So, maybe hit and miss with the parsnips. Who knows? Let's just... I can see, but I'm, I'm, 
I would have, mind you, they say that the radishes do fire up rather quickly. But nothing on the carrots. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Oh well. Still good though. Still good. Right. Should we talk about something? <laughs> Chronic pain. It's a deep subject. And a lot of people are dismissive of chronic pain. I am a chronic pain sufferer. Have been for 24 years. Um, how you manage that pain, no one teaches you to manage it. It can be difficult. <sighs> can be very very difficult to manage manage the pain but I went on a course uh, three years after my accident that course was a pain management course and it was like uh, I think it was a three three or four weeks based in uh, the Pain Management Centre in Bath, which was um, a purpose-built facility for pain management. A few moments later. Apologies for the interruption. The postie uh, arrived with the package I was looking for. So where was I? Yes, I went on a pain management course in Bath in the UK. Um, beautiful um, place. Um, it wasn't three or four weeks, it was six weeks. Six weeks long. And in, on this course, um, they teach you how to manage your pain. Um, because I, I, I suffered um, trauma to, to my legs, my back, my shoulders, my arms. I think the only thing that uh, survived was uh, my feet. <laughs> Oh, my wrists as well. Broken both wrists at the same time. So I've, I've, I've got issues. <laughs> and um, so they, they teach you uh, a technique uh, called mindfulness um, uh, and meditation and mind over matter, that type of thing. It's deep. It's deep. Um, but uh it's it helps you it helped me massively massively because it, it teaches you to be aware of your pain uh and put it compart compartmentalize it back so it doesn't affect you as much it doesn't affect your moods that type of thing so you're aware of it you're constantly aware of it but it's 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 in your mind you you I can't explain it you you just I don't know you just deal with it so it's there uh, and you, they teach you meditation whereby every morning you meditate you do your stretches you meditate um, quietly breathe listen to your body feel your body what's changed but this is this is while you're awake it's ongoing you have to be aware of your 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 body any new pain you have to be aware of any new pain because that's not part of your chronic pain if you understand chronic pain is with with you 24 7 it's it's there it's 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 in the background but um, with mindfulness um, you you can you can deal with that um, it, it, it's a, it's a way of dealing with with your chronic pain. Um, 
uh, sufferers of fibromyalgia. That's another thing that's um, similar, I guess, I guess. Because people with fibromyalgia suffer with chronic pain in their joints and, and things like that. So um, if people are suffering mentally, they need help with that. So for me, the mental help came via the pain management course and uh, the mindfulness techniques that they, they, uh, they give you. They teach you um, and uh, the results from that for me were groundbreaking because then my confidence started to um, reappear my depression started to wade away um, because you're on pain meds all the time um, and then because you're in pain you get depressed and then you're on depression meds it's a vicious circle and you can't get out of it unless you're taught a way of getting out of it and this was my way of getting out of it don't get me wrong there are days when I really really do suffer with pain and on them days I have a medication back up but it's it's used very rarely um, very rarely and to, to be honest I think I, I, I will use my pain meds um, and they're really strong by the way I'm not going to tell you what they are uh, but they're really really strong and it, it gives you like a, a feeling of euphoria uh, similar to morphine um, and that you can do anything but you have to be aware of that not to push it so I, I think I've touched my pain meds. Maybe this year I've, I've hit them twice. And that's last week, believe it or not. So I thought I would, I would talk about it. Um, because p people think it's a taboo subject. It's not taboo. It's a, it's a problem that people need to talk about. And if you've got, if you are a pain sufferer, then go to your GP and and ask them about pain management. Um, I'm not sure it's available on the NHS or NHS France. It may be NHS France. You you could get it um, because the, the yeah. I mean it's a it's a problem. Um, people that suffer from from trauma. Uh, via accident, um, via, well, anything really. Um, Ex-military or military people that are in war zones, I, I believe they get pain management counselling. Um, so, I don't know. Um, it's worth finding out. Or even look up online as, and, and search for mindfulness techniques regarding pain management. It's really cool. It, it's it's amazing what the mind actually can do. I know this is a bit deep, but it's it's a subject close to my heart, <clears throat> and my my wife understands it as well because I went on a follow up um, uh, appointment to the pain management centre uh, eighteen months later, and she came with me. She wasn't my wife then, but she came with me, and she was astounded on um, what they do um, and how they do it and it, it's and, and the way they promote the confidence in, in, in you um, so yeah she, she's, she was fully on board with it and she understands completely understands that I'm in pain 24-7 but um, I'm still happy-go-lucky but I'm mindful of what's going on in my body and anything that changes I have to be you know confront it so there we have it I know it's probably nonsense and you don't want to hear it but it's just my experience and if it can help someone then I'm happy with that 